what's going on, guys and girls? My name is GC, and welcome back to the official WCM podcast. I am joined by one of my best friends, AJ. Say hi, Brody. What's up? So, basically, today we're going to be doing, um, pretty much in this episode, we're going to be talking about just sports in general. Um, a ton of sports are coming back. The NBA is returning, apparently, at Disney World. The NHL is coming back. Um, NFL is still happening, right? Something like that? So, I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, but... So, um, how do you feel about the NHL? I mean, this this tournament and everything, how do you feel about it? Oh, I feel amazing about it, man. Yo, it looks sick. I mean, like, like God, it, I think it's going to be awesome, honestly. Like, the fact that they're doing, like, a 24-team tournament in the NHL? Yeah, 24-team. Yeah, that's, that's actually insane, honestly. So, you give everyone a chance to be in the playoffs, really. Yeah, I, I really think they should just adopt this move overall. Like, Honestly. Like, honestly, this could actually make the playoffs a lot more interesting. I, I 100% agree with you on that. Um, So, honestly, what are your predictions for the NHL? I mean, you know, like, it's pretty interesting because you got a lot of good teams out there. Um, Who do you think is going to be in the Stanley Cup um, final? Or, yeah, isn't that what they call it? Uh, the two teams that I think is in the Stanley Cup finals. Yes. Uh. Okay, so... Because you're the hockey expert, man. Like, I'm the NBA expert. You're the hockey expert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's either, um... Either... Let's see, as a Rangers fan, I'm a little biased. Yeah. So, I hope that my Rangers are in it, but they're probably not going to be. Yeah. Um, so, either the Bruins or the Capitals are going to be in Eastern... I, I'm going to go with Bruins. I respect and, that. I actually do. Bru- I really do. Bruins and, um, Bruins and Golden Knights. I think that's, okay. that's going to be the I, I think that's good. I was thinking Capitals would maybe make it. Or even, a, who knows, the Penguins. I mean, they always make it, so. Who? I think the Penguins will not make it, my friend. Yeah, you think? I don't think so. I mean, they're just dominant. You know how they always make they always make the um a final. They did it last year, so no. they didn't make it. No, um, like the semifinal. The back to back. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna move on to NHL. We're gonna talk about the NBA. So I'm actually kind of excited about the NBA. It's gonna return apparently like July 24th. That's what they're saying. I don't know if that's right or anything, but um, they're saying it's gonna be played at Disney World. Um. They don't know if it's going to be the playoffs or not, or it's going to be, like, it's like a group stage and stuff, which would be kind of dumb. But I think, either way, who do you think is going to be in the NBA Finals this year? I mean, it's going to be different because we're not going to have fans. You know, we're not going to have chanting in the you know in the crowd and everything, and that could actually make an impact. I mean, to be honest, you know, when you are playing with, you know, a ton of fans in the arena and they're literally screaming at you and, you know, you're the away team, you're under pressure. So now that... You know, no one has really a home advantage except the Magic, probably. Um, they're good. I mean, as simple as that. But at the moment, um, like, I think the best teams right now are the Lakers, um, the Nuggets, the Clippers, the Rockets. Um, I think OKC is actually doing pretty well. I did not expect them to do that well. I mean, I don't yeah. think anyone did, really. I mean, they've been doing really well for a young team like that, and they still have a ton of draft picks in the future, too, so just think about yeah. it for a sec, so. Um, but yeah, who do you think is going to go? I mean, I think the Rockets will go to the Western Conference Finals against either the Lakers or the Clippers, and then... Um, I think it's either going to... I think, yeah, the Rockets are going to the Western Conference Finals. I'm calling that right now. I um, think like that. It's probably they're probably gonna face the Lakers because there's so much hype around that team and they have all that confidence in them. Like we can do this, and yeah, indeed. And but and what Eastern side side is it's a little tricky. Oh I yeah, think it's gonna be Celt- for the Eastern Conference Finals. I think it's gonna be Celtics Bucks. Celtics Bucks. I respect that. I, I do. Um, I either think, or Raptors Bucks or something. I think it might be like a rematch a little bit. It might be Celtics Bucks, or it could be, um, 76ers Bucks. It could be 76ers Raptors. It could be 76ers Celtics, Celtics Raptors. It could be anything, honestly. 
Um, the 76ers are not getting past the Celtics. True. <laughs> true. But I think the only problem that we have in the NBA right now is that we don't know what's going to be happening. Like, we literally, we have no idea if we're still even playing in the NBA. And that's what everyone's saying. They're, they're going to be playing, apparently. But you don't know for sure. That's that's the problem really happened. But I think it's going to be interesting. I think the NBA season, it's going to be really good. Um, even if they, like, continue it, um, I'm fine with that. I, I like the NBA um, because of its, you know, fun basketball. Not really the flopping, obviously. I don't think anyone's really a big fan of flopping. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be interesting. So, what about this whole NFL thing, man? Like, it, is it starting? I know college football apparently starting up again, so that's good. I I don't know. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to um the NFL that much. Well, so it, how do you feel about um Rob Gronkowski going to the oh, that. Buccaneers? Honestly, like I okay just. So this may make a few people mad. Yeah. But I think it's been how long has it been since Rob has been out of the league? What? Um. Two yeah. Two years. Yeah, two years. And it just it doesn't like he's been out of the league. But they have, like the Bucks are the WWE. best. Like the Buccaneers, they they had like the best wide receivers. Yeah, they have the best wide receiver core. I'm not gonna. Like, you can't even argue with that. That Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna say they don't. But I think Rob isn't really in the best condition to be playing football again. Because, like just to come back. Right, he's doing WWE. Yeah, and fake wrestling. I mean, look Just at right. Jason R- Witten. I mean, what was his stats? I bet you they weren't Apparently he's going to the Raiders or something, isn't that true? Like Raiders? Yeah, he went to the Raiders. Yeah. Like the Raiders look they have the best QB room right now. Um um Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to get out. No, you're good. You're good. It's just stacked. Like I think the NFL season is gonna be interesting because you know, there's a lot of trades in the off season um that happened or just, you know, signings in general. Yeah, I mean, um... Like, you guys uh, got Eric Ebron. I got mad about that. I was kind of disappointed. He's a Steelers fan. I'm a Colts fan, so... Huh. I can't disappoint about that, but... Yeah, I mean, we, we picked up Ebron, and I was really happy about that. Ebron's really good, though. He's, like, one of the most underrated tight ends, right? In, yeah, in he league. really is. I, I think we really have an underrated um, QB... Uh, not QB. An un- underrated... Uh, Tight end. Um, yeah, agreed. You do. I mean, if we if we re-signed Vanet, then either the Vanet would probably be the third tight end because, like, no disrespect to Vanet at all. Yeah. Um, he, I was kind of sad that he left. It was like he was a good good tight end. It was a good trade. And he went to Denver. So. Yeah, yeah, so um, also NASCAR actually pulled more numbers than the last dance. Fun fact. Huh. Can you believe that? Well, right. I mean, so many people are looking for sports. Yeah, agreed. That they just go and see NASCAR and they watch the most it. recent sport. I'm actually really happy. My driver, Chase Elliott, he's won two races in a row. Um, one of the truck series and one of the actual monster and Juno, or not, no, not the monster. I'm so stupid. Not I mean, Emmy and C S. Um, and just the NASCAR Cup series. So pretty cool. But I think honestly, this is the perfect time for NASCAR to like, you know, show, you know, that they're actually a, a good sport and all that. So, um, I think honestly, it's, it's going to be interesting because we're going to be seeing a lot of, of things happening, um, you know, all this stuff that's going on in the world, you know, you have, you have COVID, you've got, you know, these riots going on, um, like, there's a lot of things that you have to, like, just get past, especially quarantine, uh, I quarantine mean, hasn't been that bad for me, I think, um, it's actually I think really these bad. riots could probably slow down 
the sport, like sports coming back. I, I honestly agree. think that. Yeah, indeed. It's, it's dangerous. Like it really is. Yeah, because people are um you know breaking down people's homes, businesses, stuff like that. Like the NCAA Hall of Fame just got looted. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Are you Did kidding you me? That? Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. Honestly. Like it is. Wow. Uh, like, that's just sad. Um, yeah, and, like, CNN's um, new studio got, like, destroyed or something. It got, like, raided or whatever. It got rioted. Is that the right yeah. word? Right. But, yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I think the sport, like, you know, the sporting world, it's been affected. It really has. Ever since COVID-19 came out, this pandemic started, they just shut down the whole economy. They just shut down sports in general. I mean, it's honestly just crazy to me. It really is. I think... I just can't wait to get back um, to, like, a football game or a basketball game because I, I go to a lot of those with my grandparents and stuff, and we enjoy them. So, yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, I know um, Liberty, uh, they recalled all their students, so. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Li- Liberty, Liberty is choosing a very interesting route. Um by calling everyone back. I heard um the University of Georgia they they told all their um athletes that they can like you know start doing individual work. Also the um NBA is also doing that too. They just started doing that cuz I was looking at Instagram and everything and I saw that they were doing a um they're talking about the um NBA season returning and all this crap and they were doing individual workouts but yet you could see people in the background. Like I saw Bradley Beal, John Wall's actually back. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, but... Uh, what's his name? I think they're out of yeah. the playoffs. I'm sorry. Beal I'm sorry. Beal on uh, the trade block or something? Yeah. Uh, that's stupid. That is straight stupid. Agreed. Yeah. Like, in my opinion, Bradley Beal is better than John Wall because he doesn't get hurt Wait, every they single put year. Bradley Beal on the trade block? I believe so. Are you kidding me? Bro, why would they do that? Though? Dude, trade rumors around him. Dude, when I've seen Bradley Beal play, I've seen him play um for like one time this season because I went to go see them play at um at, like the um Capital One Arena in DC against the Rockets. That was one of the craziest games ever. Harden dropped like fifty nine points and Beal dropped forty six, but it was going back to back. And guess what? It was the same night. Um, the the Nationals were playing the Astros. So, literally, it was the Nationals and Astros and then Wizards, Rockets on the same night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's pretty cool. That, that's the crazy part about this, like, quarantine thing. And, like, this COVID sports thing. Because, yeah. like, there's going to be a bunch of sports playing on the same day. Yes, indeed. And the fans are going to have to choose if they want to watch basketball or hockey or baseball. Or NASCAR or... Or NASCAR, or anything, or really. just anything, honestly. Or apparently, um, slap boxing. Apparently, that's a sport. Or <laughs> slapping, whatever. Spike that's ball. A- <laughs> Spike ball. Spike <laughs> ball. Oh my god, dude! Did I see that all the time on Instagram? And I'm like, my god, I want to play this one day with my friends. But yeah, um, I think I'll probably wrap it up for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in for episode number two, season one of the official WCM podcast. I'm your host, JC, and um, yeah, peace.